so it's yet another week week oh god week 15 that i am finally doing my hair is a mess we have had rough weekend slash beginning to the week um i'll get into that in a minute i wanted to get this part of the video done so that i could share some extra things with you this week and also i want to start actually telling you what i write in here <laughs> it seems to me that i never do that i just go through the questions so let's get into the question how far along are you <coughs> well in my book i am 15 weeks seven days On my phone, I am 15 weeks, ooh, 15 weeks, six days. So, not quite sure how that translates, but tomorrow I turn 16 weeks. But on here, I am 15 weeks, five days. That is how far along I am, depending on how you look at it. Um, I know that I turn 16 weeks tomorrow. How big is Peanut? According to this book, baby is the size of a pear. And according to this app, baby is the size of an apple. Those apples look really, really good. <laughs> Total weight gain or loss? <clears throat> Um, I still don't have a scale, so I'm not quite sure. I haven't been to the doctor lately, so I'm not quite sure. I'm hoping that I'm gaining instead of losing or staying the same because that will make them very unhappy. <laughs> maternity clothes. Um, if by maternity clothes you mean extra large shirts and my husband's sweatpants, <laughs> then yeah, sure. Um, I really haven't gone out and gotten more. I have two pairs of maternity pants. And from my first pregnancy, I still have three shirts. Sleep. <laughs> this is a tricky question because we have new stuff going on here. So my sleep has been interrupted, but I feel like I am getting more sleep. But then I'm also tired during the day, so I end up taking a nap. Uh, best moment this week. Okay, I'm just going to spoil it. We got a dog. Eee! We got a dog. She's so cute. I'm going to put pictures over here and probably later on in the video too. She is so adorable. We saw her, went to the York SPCA and oh my gosh, we had looked at another dog and then the next, not the next day, two days later I came back with the girls and we went and we looked at her because we noticed her the first time around and she was like the second pick. I wasn't too sure about getting her because she is a pit bull. However, she is so freaking sweet. She is like a little mama. She is adorable. Um, I will get into her information later on in the video for you, but I just wanted to point that out as the best moment this week. Other than me actually eating steak and then me liking symptoms um i'm not as nauseous but i still get nauseous i think it's because i was feeling better for a couple days in a row and so i stopped taking my medicine and i shouldn't have done that i should have just taken it back to one of the pills per day instead of the two or three that i was taking so now i'm on my medicine my uh oh gosh it's not the omeprazole it's the other medicine that i I'm taking I can't remember what it is um, editing Tara will either put it in or I can also down below link the video that has that in it nausea has been killing moi um, I'm not as gassy which is a good thing I'm starting to have headaches though but that might just be me um, being weird food cravings steak 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 
and mashed potatoes are finally now good. Um, yes, the other day I had a massive craving for grilled cheese and tomato soup. So that was at the top of my list. Food aversions, nothing really new. I'm not really averse to much food now, but it's still there. I mean, bacon's still a no-no. And no, chicken's actually pretty good now. Uh, French fries, not really. Gender, gender guess, whatever you wanna call it. Um, still guessing that it's a boy. Still hoping and praying that it's a boy. Labor signs, labor signs, labor signs, labor signs. Um, <clears throat> no labor signs. I guess this is, I guess, maybe part of the symptoms. Um, I'm feeling a lot more back pain than usual if I'm standing or sitting for too long in a certain position. Um, it's kind of normal. It happens. Just remember to stretch a little and move around a bit. Um, my asthma, I still have it. My ref acid reflux, I still have it. Gets worse at night, I'm not quite sure why. Belly button in or out, still in. I'm pretty sure. What I miss, sleeping on my stomach. That always seems to be like a thing with me is I love sleeping on my stomach and now I'm realizing that I can't do that. I kind of miss sleeping in my bed too, but that's part of a whole different issue. What am I looking forward to? Gosh, I'm just looking forward to starting to enjoy the pregnancy. I mean, I've been enjoying it. Gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry for my hair. It's a mess. But um, I'm just enjoying the pregnancy, enjoying having my family being in the house now. I'm definitely looking forward to working on the nursery. Um, that's gonna be fun. Milestones! I guess it's just me feeling like I feel better. I don't feel like I wanna be nauseous all the time. Yes, there are still times where I do end up getting sick, but I don't feel nauseous constantly. And we're gonna wait for that last one until after I go over the book. So last Thursday I said was uneventful. Um, Friday I was extremely, extremely nauseous even with the medicine. I think that was the day that I only took one when I actually needed to take two. The girls also had their father-daughter dance where my dad took them and they had a blast. And that was the day that I was craving pineapple pizza, like pine just pineapple on pizza. And I wish I would have added extra pineapple. <laughs> and then I also had a pink drink that day, which those are like heaven. Um, Saturday was the day that we brought home Lady, which is our dog. Sunday, Nate was home for a little. It was a pretty good day, and I got steak. That was, that was the day that I got my steak, and I was so happy. Monday, I was miserable most of the day. Nate was home for a little. I ate some salad and puked it up. <laughs> ate the rest of yesterday's steak, and it stayed down. So steak was good, salad was not. And Monday and Tuesday, the girls were home all day because school was closed because of snow. Tuesday, I had a really itchy belly on Tuesday. It was ridiculous. And I was tired all day and craving the grilled cheese sandwich and tomato soup. And today I am quite tired. My stomach has been very uncomfortable. I'm pretty sure it's growing. Um, my belly was itchy and I ate the rest of my salad and it has stayed down so far and I'm craving cookies so bad. But yeah, that has been week 15. And now let's see if I can get you a bump shot. 
All right, so I guess this is as good of a bump shot as you are going to get, ladies and germs. We've got, we've got belly, belly that is starting to get very itchy. My back isn't as curved as it used to be. It used to go really far in, but now I'm kind of hunching over, but belly's still there. I do feel kicks and movement. They're not big yet. They're still kind of little. Okay, so that is all for that portion of the video. If you guys want, you can stop here and I will see you guys next week for week 16 update. I, however, am going to go into a little bit of detail about our new dog. This was just taken of Lady today. Oh, she's so cute. She confiscated a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> it was just laying on the floor so she's like it's mine but um, she wears the shirt because after we adopted her they gave us a call and said hey we didn't need to spay her but we did need to go in and take out some mammary masses that we found so they took those out and they sent them off to be biopsied we're still waiting for the results to come back however we still decided to bring her home. We absolutely love her. Everybody in the family loves her, which is awesome. She is potty trained. She is really good at not barking. She's good at meeting new people. Oh my gosh, she even has a place in the yard that she goes to to poop, whereas she has other places in the yard to go to to pee. She did that on her own. <laughs> um, so yeah, back to the shirt. She is wearing the shirt because after we brought her home, she ended up starting to scratch with her back leg. Even though she had that giant cone thing on, they can still scratch with their back legs. So we ended up taking her to Pet Spartan to make sure that she didn't open her stitches because she did end up bleeding a little bit. We took her in. They said that it was just bruised, but it's good. So that was good. Um, we ended up getting her one of the blow up e collars, which has worked so far. She has been awesome with it. It hasn't given her issues. She sleeps with it, eats with it, drinks with it, goes out to the bathroom with it. She's good. Um, so the doctors there, or the vets, um, told us to put a shirt on her and maybe that'll help keep her from scratching it. Um, if she does end up scratching, she'll just scratch the shirt. In the picture, gosh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure you could tell that her shirt sleeves were rolled up. Yeah, you can. Um, her shirt sleeves were rolled up. I did that at like 6 o'clock this morning because I woke up and she was tangled in the shirt, you guys. Um, sometimes when she steps, her back feet end up stepping on the back part of the sleeve. And so it takes her front leg out of the armhole. <laughs> And she gets stuck inside. Well, I had to fix her shirt this morning and then I rolled it up and I stapled it and we're good now. <laughs> and then the back is just tied with a hair tie in the back where we know that it won't scratch against her, uh, some of her stitches. And the stitches are dissolvable so we won't have that issue. She came home with medicine which she is halfway done with, yay. Um, we're taking her back to the vet in about a week and a half, two weeks, to make sure that everything is A-OK -okay and we can finally get that shirt and collar off of her. And I know she will be ecstatic about that. But yeah, she is, she is a four-year-old pit bull. She is an absolute sweetheart. I think the reason why she had mammary masses was because her previous owner ended up breeding her. And then, because you can definitely tell that her nipples have been used usually they're like tiny and closer to the body whereas hers are a bit bigger were a bit bigger and noticeable after they took the mary masses out um there are stitches there now so no more puppies for her <laughs> and she was already spayed which means the previous owners had had her spayed um the surgeon had noticed the scar from that so, 
all of that is good everything she's been crazy good with the kids she has her own bed she sleeps in it every night which i sleep downstairs with her until her stitches are good to go the collars off and the shirt is off so that we can teach her to go up and down the stairs which will make it a bit easier and then um, i'll probably end up getting a second bed for her in here so that she can be in here at night but right now she's in the living room and the dining room and the kitchen and the whole first floor really so that is lady's story that's our little lady the girls are ecstatic with her nate bonded with her so well her rodney and nate are like awesome together i mean some of the pictures that i probably showed earlier um when they go downstairs to do laundry or do something in the basement she will stand at the door and then she will lay down at the door and wait for them it's too freaking cute she has learned to go stand next to the back door so that she can be let out well she can be taken out we can't let her out yet because we don't have the fence up but soon we're gonna have a fence up and it'll be good um i know some people have those things that screw into the ground and has a long chain or whatever to it and i've had those before with other dogs within my family but um our ground here just isn't hard. It is very soft soil still. So we're kind of waiting until we get the fence up. Otherwise we just go out and we walk her. And she seems to be really doing good with that. I'm honestly surprised how well she fits in with the family. I mean, we are laid back. We are somewhat lazy when we're at home. Um, and she's she's not very like rambunctious and wants to play all the time. I mean, she'll probably be more like that whenever she's not on medication and not feeling so good, but we'll see. She has a bucket full of toys that she doesn't even touch. She loves treats. Gotta tell you that, she loves treats. And that is my whole thing about our newest addition before our new new addition to our family. So thank you guys for listening to me babble about our new dog. And I hope you guys will return next week for yet another video. I am pretty sure that we're not going to add anything else to the house. So we shouldn't have it be too long. Thanks again, you guys, for watching. And I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next week.